So apparently, they're going to be letting Takashi 6 9 out in 72 hours. But the question really is, if this rumor is true, are they letting him out from 72 hours when the decision was made? Or are they letting him out from 72 hours when this allegation was made public? Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah so apparently there is a uh rumor going around on the internet okay real quick I'm gonna tell you what the rumor is because you know I don't want to just hold you up being like yeah there's this rumor for like 10 minutes and then I'll be like and the rumor is so I'm just gonna tell you so apparently 6 9 is supposed to be getting out in 72 hours that's the story in which I heard on the internet it's out there. This is not anything that I'm making up. This video is not about me saying 6 9 is going to be out in 72 hours. This video is me saying that there is a rumor that 6 9 is supposed to be let go in 72 hours. Okay, real quick. They're saying, and I don't know how accurate this is because this is at this point uh, just rumors. I, I will, I did reach out to a source. Um, whatever the case might be but from what i know right now there was a rumor that said the six nine was supposed to be let out in 72 hours basically what happened was the rumor goes the 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 government decided to drop all charges okay real quick remember when i told y'all that kuda b would not be incarcerated would not have went to jail if not for that um, video evidence that had just surfaced of someone saying that six not of six not actually in the video part of me saying that he was uh, putting some money on somebody's head and then it was found out later that Kuda B was uh, allegedly allegedly involved with the shooting that happened down at the W Hotel that happened uh, around that time. Remember when I told y'all that Kuda B would have never been arrested if not for TMZ? This lends to that concept because if they dropped all the charges, they also dropped that charge. Also, I told y'all that, that the government did not want Takashi 69. I'm telling you in my humblest of opinions. I do not think that the government wanted Kuda B. It's not like the government's out there like, yo, you know what? That fool dancing on, dancing on cars. Let's go get him. This is not happening. The government wanted some people to be arrested, to be incarcerated, to help them in the furtherance of an investigation to other activities nine times out of ten. I don't know this to be fact. Right now, this is speculation. Nine times out of ten. When, for whatever reason is, well, we know what the reason is, the government um, had to stop their, their investigation a little bit early because they had to make sure that <laughs> nothing happened to Takashi 6 9 Now, hold on one second. For everybody that thinks that's stupid, right? Hold on. Let me explain something. Takashi 6 9 was offered a $10 million two-album deal while still incarcerated for this very situation that we're talking about right now from... Um, 10k projects right you think that if the government would allow 10k projects i mean pardon me if the government would have allowed something to happen to takashi besides the fact they wouldn't be able to use the freaking um how do you say the um evidence that they acquired from the wiretaps they wouldn't be able to use it because sooner or later it's going to come up that they had pr they had prior information that something was going to happen to takashi and they allowed it to happen that's going to be bad in numerous different ways one they're going to it's going to be hard for them to get um witnesses to work with them they're going to be like you leaving people out there to get killed i don't trust you two i'm pretty sure 
the 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 they're gonna get ripped in freaking court because the court is gonna be like so you let this one guy die in order for you to have <laughs> like really this is the or or whatever was gonna happen to Takashi. I don't believe he was gonna get killed. I believe he was just gonna get attacked, but they couldn't take that chance is my point. Um so they had to cut the investigation short is my point. The reason that they cut the investigation short was because he went on the Breakfast Club. I've been saying this. So that's why they had to also arrest Takashi. Because uh, Takashi wasn't initially only arrested because um, he was involved in whatever stuff going on. Which he did have some implications in some of the crimes. He was involved in some of the crimes. He was privy to information about illegal activity he was around while they were discussing some of the matters in which they were discussing that they eventually got you know prosecuted for this is a fact you cannot get around this takashi is not 100 percent exempt from being complicit in these crimes that were committed that other people are going to jail for this is a fact let's not even go around that but what happens is when the government comes and they say you know what we're gonna really we're gonna I, i'm not laughing because i don't think this is funny but i'm saying honestly we're gonna drop all charges that lends directly to the idea of what i have been telling people for the longest the government did not want takashi if the government did not want takashi and obviously they're not getting any big bags for for cool to be that's not necessarily something that they wanted either in my opinion I don't think they would have ever charged Kuda B for this particular crime. Main reason, they already knew he did the crime. <laughs> I'm not laughing at this because it's funny because um, I'm laughing because they already knew he did the crime. It's not one of those ha-ha-ha funny laughs. It's one of those, come on, man. Like, this is pretty obvious. So when I hear that they're letting Takashi go in 72 hours, this is just still speculation at this point because I found this out on... Uh, sunday and i do not know the government to work on sundays <laughs> i mean i don't know it but also i read an article and uh read something somewhere and they were basically saying that the uh, that all of the work that was done to make this a possibility was already approved by friday so this was something that the government already approved over the um at the beginning of the weekend before the weekend actually started so now this lends a little bit more uh credence to the possibility of this being something also 72 hours from what day was it 72 hours from friday because if so then he's already free get it i mean they're gonna let him go on part of me he's not already free they should be letting him go like on a monday or something I don't, I don't believe they really let people go on the weekends. I don't know. I don't know this. Uh, somebody weigh in in the comment section. Put us on. So that means that he's probably going to be released on, on Monday. My question is, there's a court date on the 18th. The 18th is Wednesday. Is he already going to be a free man when he show up to the court date is the question. I don't know. Let me know what y'all guys think about that. Anyway, I actually contacted somebody that I... That I um, uh, uh, and they and they basically let me know yes this is real this is not fake they were pretty uh direct with their answer that this is a thing that happened and that this is real that they really is all a uh, situation where all of takashi's charges are being dropped one last thing before I let y'all go. I literally said this in January that all of Takashi's charges were going to be thrown out because they did not want him in the first place. I told y'all this in January. I get it. People love the circus. So people like speculating, man, Takashi's going to do these many years. Takashi's going to do that many years. I said, look, man, as long as Takashi do the thing that they ask him to do, he's not going to do any time. Except for the, you know, time served part of the time. Let me know what y'all guys think about this. Leave the, leave the um, comments down below. Um, do you think this is fair? Do you think this is not fair? Do you, do you think they should give him anything? Do you think this is the lie? Do you think this is the truth? 
Do you think this is just people trying to play with the media? Do you think what do you think? Especially due to the fact that there could be a precedent of oh, not precedents. There should be they, there's actually pretty good reason for this with the belief that when they finally do let Takashi go, they don't want to have to be responsible for what might or might not happen to him after he leave the courtroom so they're allowing him a couple of days off in order to be able to acquire a couple of days out early in order to be able to acquire the appropriate security and so that if anything does happen to takashi that the government ain't on the hook that sounds plausible to me it sounds like some real government stuff that they would do anyway let me know what y'all guys think leave the comments down below like comment subscribe join the notification gang Hashtag Bronx Bombers, let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.